Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Brucker Hall here on Fort Myer and Jazz Evening with the Army Blues at the American Trombone Workshop. You are in for quite a treat tonight, so on behalf of Colonel Timothy Holton, the commander of the United States Army Band, and Command Sergeant Major Daniel Smith, the Band Sergeant Major, I do want to formally welcome you to this evening's performance. Uh, the mission of the Army Blues is the preservation and promotion of America's art form, jazz. Tonight, we are pleased to be joined on stage by Michael Deese and the winners of the jazz competition at the American Trombone Workshop. They'll be up, uh, Michael will be up with us in just a minute, and the jazz competition winners will be up at the end of the night. Our first selection tonight was written by our very own bassist, Reagan Bruff, for our now retired guitar player, Sergeant Major Jim Roberts. And it's entitled Eeyore. They said that's a little bit hint of his personality. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, the part of guitar will be played tonight by our very own Staff Sergeant Victor Bronco on trombone. Sergeant Bronco is a native of North Pole, Alaska, studied and graduated from the University of North Texas, and won his job here with the Army Blues in 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army Blues. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much. As Chief mentioned before, that chart was called uh, Eeyore, written by our own bassist, Staff Sergeant Reagan Bruff from Orem, Utah. And yeah, Reagan. And if you guys like the chart, the chart is actually available for free on our website, usarmyband.com, under a project called Blues Plus You. We, we pretty fortunate, we have about 11 writers in the band. And a couple years ago, we did a project where we got together about nine different compositions and upload them on our website. And all the compositions are available for free. You can download the scores, all the individual parts, and uh, recordings of the tune. And then a little icing on the cake is that you can actually download a recording minus the lead trumpet, minus lead trombone, lead sax, and then minus a different uh, rhythm section player. So for you trombone players, if you're wanting to work on your lead trombone nuances or section playing, that's a really great tool to work with and we made this project with you guys in mind and for you guys so we hope that you can take advantage of this and um, we hope that it helps you out so moving on to the oh and, and the best part's free and I know trombone players like free stuff right <laughs> so moving on to the next piece we're gonna slow things down a little bit and feature the fantastic Master Sergeant Harry Waters on a beautiful Duke Ellington composition entitled Daydream
Yeah, Harry. So, uh, personally, I've always looked forward to ATW week. I think all the trombone players in the building look forward to this weekend. And uh, my first time actually listening to, whoops, maybe I'm close to this mic. First time listening to the band uh, was in 2004. I was at the University of Minnesota. I was studying with Tom Ashworth, and we were invited, uh, the choir was invited to ATW to perform like many of you guys are. And uh, I did my research before I came up here, and I, I, I wanted to listen to the band, and I wanted to listen to the blues in particular. And back then, the section was Master Sergeant Retired uh, Bill Holmes, Sergeant Major Matt Neese, Master Sergeant Harry Waters, and holding down last chair trombone, the great Master Sergeant Jeff Cortazzo. How about for Jeff? You know, uh, since I won the job in 2009, Jeff and I, on a daily basis, we make fun of each other, we mock each other. It's a great relationship. But in all seriousness, Jeff is the best bass trombonist I've ever played with in a big band in March in Washington, D.C. on a Thursday <laughs> evening. Honestly, hands down, the best. That's right. So I did my research before coming up here, and you know when you're watching YouTube or if you're watching a movie, and I know this happened to many of you, and you're, you're seeing these guys on TV, and they're like celebrities. You like idol these guys. And, and in your mind, they're like six foot five, and they're these huge beings. You're like, oh my gosh. And then when you meet them in real life, you, and you talk to them, you can't get past how tiny they are, like how fragile and delicate of a human being they are. And that's exactly how I felt when I met our next soloist, Master Sergeant Matt Neese. <laughs> no, Matt goes by many names, personally within the blues, many of which I, are very popular, but I think you guys would like this one, the great Tiny Dorsey. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so Matt is gonna play on, uh, look at him, even when Matt's in a good mood, he still looks like he wants to kick my butt. <laughs> so he's gonna play on a, uh, which one is this one? I, I was taking the percussion out of it for a sake. We're gonna play an arrangement of, uh, by a former saxophonist with the Army Band, with Army Blues, Mike Tamaro, uh, Taking of Pelham. Is this still on? Yeah. See, this is what happens when you walk to the front of the stage. You walk in, your mouthpiece is missing. And I have to guess where, where it went.
Thank you very much. I was taking a Pelham, one, two, three. Sergeant Major Matt Neese. Uh, now comes the time we get to introduce our awesome guest artist. I've been friends with uh, Mike Dees for a while now, and if you've heard him, you've obviously heard him on trombone, but if you haven't heard him on trumpet, on saxophone, on bass, on bassoon, I don't know what the heck he plays, but he's an incredible musician. He's, he's a great person and just an incredible musician, and uh, the music he sent was uh, pretty challenging for us, but um, without further ado, Michael Dees. Good evening, everybody. How we doing? Yeah. Had enough trombone yet? No, no. Is that Brother McCain out there? What's up, Doctor? All right. Um, it's so awesome to be here and to hear this amazing band. Uh, Fort Myer, this area is so blessed and lucky to have this congregation of musicians playing here, playing for our country, and swinging their butts off. So how about it for the U.S. Army Blues Jazz Ensemble? It's a real, real honor for me to be here. I've, I've been coming to these for many years. Uh, I've learned a lot here uh, from many of you. Uh, and I just absolutely love the trombone and anything associated with its betterment. And uh, discussion is, you know, rated A++ in my book. So fantastic work, everyone. And I'm happy to be a small, small part of it. Uh, we're going to start with... Somebody remind me what we're two bass hit arrangement I did for Lewis Nash and Tara Masahino for the uh, Japan American All Star Big Band two bass hit by John Lewis. Thank <laughs> you. 
my good friend and incredible alto saxophonist, uh, uh, arranger, uh, New York, New Jersey resident of many years now, Todd Bayshore. Uh, we just had the, the extreme honor of having the opportunity to play for President Obama with the Christian McBride Big Band at, at the White House for the Ray Charles Tribute, his last uh, official concert of his administration. I get to, to see Todd quite a bit, and he's an, uh, just an amazing big band arranger, so I wanted to hear his take on one of my original compositions. Uh, this is Todd Bayshore's arrangement of one of my tunes called Solid Gold. Thank <laughs> you. 
again, that was an original composition of mine uh, called Solid Gold and arranged by Todd Bayshore. Uh, is it okay if we slow things down a little bit? I'm a little out of breath. Um, we'd like to play a beautiful song, uh, mostly written by Jimmy Dorsey, the alto saxophone clarinet virtuoso, brother of Tommy Dorsey. I didn't plan that, by the way. It just happens to be uh, one of those, one of my favorite songs. Uh, not trying to sneak in another trombone connection to the to the proceedings. We have enough of those. Um, but it's there, and it's Jimmy Dorsey, Tommy Dorsey's brother, and he wrote this beautiful song called I'm Glad There Is You.
I'm Glad There Is You by Jimmy Dorsey. And up next is an arrangement of Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves has a couple of twists and encounters, so uh, it's not your completely standard arrangement of Autumn Leaves, but it's got a, a fun bone soli in there that uh, I think I'm going to play. Uh, Matt, Matt, is, Matt has very kindly asked me to play it. He didn't just tell me to play it right now. That's not what happened. But, but I, I, I will, of course, oblige him. Uh, this is Autumn Leaves. And please keep your fingers crossed on the trombone solely. I need all the help I can get. Thank <laughs> you. 
Close another hand for Michael Dees. Well, as we come to the close of our evening, it's uh, an event like this doesn't happen without the help of our tremendous support staff that we have here at the Army Band allows us to focus on music. So we'd like to give a special thanks to all of our audio engineers and our stage engineers, Sergeant Knox, Sergeant Sipes, Sergeant Legia, Sergeant Hernandez. Thank you guys for all you do. There's a videographer hanging out back there. If you didn't know, I'm sure you've heard by now, all of our these events are webcast. And so they're all streaming live. When you go home, you want to see something that you heard here and you want to see it again, go to our website, www.usarmyband.com, or go to our YouTube channel, and you can find all of these events archived, available for viewing at any time. So it's a great, great tool that you have up there. Well, again, we are nearing the end of our evening, and I'll turn it over one more time to Sergeant Barranco as he's going to introduce our guest, Sergeant Barranco. Yeah, thank you, Chief. Uh, how about another round of applause for the amazing Michael Deese? <laughs> and, and what's crazy is he sounds just as good on trumpet and saxophone and all those other instruments. So you are one of the freaks out there, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, a, in, in the most polite way possible. <laughs> Uh, at this time, we're going to introduce uh, our jazz competition winners. Every year we have um, the jazz competition. And the last year was the first year we actually divided up in two different divisions because we were getting so many young players that were sounding amazing. And I wanted to uh, give them a shot to come up here. And uh, this year was no different. The winner of Division One is from UT Austin, uh, studies with Andre Hayward, and his uh, name is Alton Sinclair. Alton? And the winner of Division Two uh, goes to DePaul University Studies with Tim Kaufman, Chris Shuttleworth. <laughs> and uh, as tradition, we like to end uh, the jazz night with, with a swing and blues. So we're going to play Swingin' at Newport and feature these fine gentlemen.
Thank you very much. Jazz comp competition winners, Michael Deese and the U.S. Army Blues. Thank you, folks. Have a wonderful night.